All right, <clears throat> morning. This is uh, video number two for my channel. And uh, as you see, I'm at the truck stop, getting ready to start my day. It's uh, April 1st, 2018, about four o'clock in the morning, on my way up to uh, Newark, New Jersey. I'm all the truck drivers out there, you end up watching this video. I'm at the, uh, the Petro at 205 on 81 uh, in, uh, in Virginia. It's known for being the East Coast largest Petro, largest truck stop in general. But um, I want to talk about in this video, uh, truck driving. Uh, is, is it a career for you? Um, and, and I think it's kind of an important topic because people get this impression that all truck drivers do all day is just drive. Granted, driving is a very big portion of this job. It is not the it is not the only thing we do. Um, you know, you, there's times where, especially with the flatbedders, they got it a little bit worse than anybody else. They got to come. They got to get out the truck. They got to secure the load, tarp, all that, all that good stuff. And they go somewhere that that's the way you see the trailer with all the stuff and the chains and everything on it going on the road they didn't come like that no 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 they have to do that themselves but all of us out here you know sometimes you, you hop in and out of the trailer you know securing the load checking the load multiple times throughout the trip uh you know you just you, it, it's a lot more to it than just driving you know you're actually physically involved at uh, times now there are some days yeah where you know you're driving six 600 700 something miles a day um and I mean, it's just gonna be a long driving day. It is what it is. That's not every single day. Um, so on top of that, you have to understand that, yeah, you're gonna have to do some physical labor to the job. So it's probably in your best interest to make sure you keep yourself in shape. And also, also, the fact that you're gonna be away from home. Um, I know when I'm gone from home, I, I like to run about 30 or so days, you know, out. And when I get home, my company gives me a full seven days off, seven, eight days off. Rail has a great hometown policy. There's another rail driver right there. The red truck you see on the side, the, the International. Um, you'll, it, you'll, you get good, pretty good home time if you stay out for long enough. They basically have a tier system, but you know, Essentially, anybody hears about how great this money is in trucking, and uh, the money can be good, but you have to work to it. You can't just come into this profession thinking that day one out, day one in, you're going to be bringing home eleven, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollar checks every week. That's not the case. If somebody told you that's the case, they're either lying to you or they got the hookup and they know somebody. Um, and shoot, I mean, I got the hookup. My dad, I know somebody, and I'm still, I'm still starting at the bottom. So I feel the pain, the struggle, just like everybody else who's trying to come into this field and they realize, you know, I mean, I knew from the get-go it wasn't going to be all sunshine, rainbows, and lollipops. I knew you're going to have to come out here, you're going to work your, 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 your butt off to get to a certain point in your career. But um, anyway, so, you're going to be gone from home. No. It's, it's easy for people to sit here and say, you know, well, I, I think I can be gone from home. You have to look at everything, all right? You're going to be gone from home. You're going to miss certain events, you know? It's, uh, you're going to be on the phone talking to your significant other, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whomever it is watching this video, whatever you feel like dating. If you want to date an animal, go ahead and knock yourself out date an animal. You're going to be on the phone dating so, while, you know, while in a relationship with somebody and... You're going to hear the kids in the background laughing. You're going to ask what you guys are up to for the day. You know, oh, you know, we're going to the movies. We're going to do this. We're going out of town to see grandma, grandpa up in uh, North Carolina, what have you. In my case, that's what it is for my significant other. She goes, her family's up in North Carolina. And, you know, you miss out on things. My kid, he's, 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 uh, he's a little more than one years old right now. And I missed his first steps. Um, I was able to make it home for his birthday, but I missed his first steps. It is what it is. Um, but I understand you have to come into this understanding and having the mindset, the tough mindset of knowing 
you're going to miss out on certain things. And you have to understand that you're, you might miss things, but there's a greater, there's a greater reason and you're doing this for the greater good of your family overall down the road. Um, you know, your, your family needs it. I know my family needs it. That's why I did. That's why I chose to leave law enforcement and come into the truck with me. Um, and, you know, it sucks at times, but this is where it comes into knowing if you're able to do the job. You need to have the intestinal fortitude and the, the drive and, and the passion and the love for your family and being able to be, have the foresight as the man or the provider or whatever you are to your family to uh, do what you got to do to make sure your family can sleep comfortably at night, have a place to lay their head, food in their stomach, and make sure the bills are paid. That's your job as a man. Is It's not to sit up at the house and want to sit at home and cuddle and, you know, that does have its time and place in a relationship, but that's not your role as a man and provider in the household. That Your role is to get you behind up, you go to work, forget how you feel. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're sick and you feel like you're on your deathbed and you need to go to the doctor, that's one thing. The job will replace you in a heartbeat. But this whole I don't feel like going to work, I'm tired, I just want to lay up at the house and be with my boo and I want to throw dick all day. No, that's not how this works. You need to get your ass up and go to I need to stop cussing. You need to get your ass up and go to work. You need to do what you gotta do to make sure your family is taken care of. Um so yeah, I mean, and, and then you I, I, also on top of that, you need to understand that you're going to be gone for a long period of time. You're going to miss stuff. And people want to come out here and complain they don't make no money and they're not getting good miles, like I mentioned in my last video, but you want to come home every other week. Now, I, I mean, there are going to be people out there who are regional drivers who come home every weekend and they're probably getting great pay. That's because they worked their ass off to get to that point. They didn't start out like that. Um, there are some people who have some kind of local job. Yeah, there's some people that do make a local, get a local job right out of CDL school and they're probably making decent money. But they, they, if they stay in the game and stay OTR for a while and come back and get a different kind of local job, they can be making even more. With probably the same hours, if not the same hours, better hours. Um, but essentially, you need, to, you need to do your time out here OTR. Or OTR meaning over the room. But that's what you need to do. Because when it comes down to it, some of these local or uh, uh, local companies, I like to say local with the quotation fingers, but companies basically go home every single day. Some of those places like FedEx, UPS, SIA, Old Dominion, blah, 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 those kind of freight companies, they want you to have two years minimum of experience. And they want to be able to see that you can come out here and handle doing this job, you can stick with it when times get tough, and they know that you know what you're doing. Because you get some of these guys that come straight out of CDL school, they go try to get a local job. They can't tell you what it's like driving in the snow. They can't tell you what it's like chaining up your tires. They can't tell you what it's like going through the mountains. And I'm not talking about these mountains over here on the East Coast. Yeah, they're, they're rough, don't get me wrong. But they, they can't tell you what it's like going down the mountains on the West Coast out there, seven, eight percent, nine percent grade, and you're holding that for a long distance. You, some of these mountains are so high, you go up the mountains, you go into a cloud, into a storm go above the cloud and storm and then come back down on the other side where you go back into it and come out the bottom of it and then that does happen i wish i had pictures of it when i did that on my run out to seattle washington but yeah oh yeah there there are mountains like that and it does exist it's not just something you see on tv it's real that happens in real life out here you know so basically i want to see you have that experience but um getting back to the main point you know like i said before going to be gone you're going to experience things i mean it's going to it's going to be rough sometimes the hour is going to be chaotic i mean sometimes i'm driving nights sometimes i'm driving days uh you, that's going to be part of it also coming out here doing this you can't be complaining about the kind of hours you're going to get sometimes it's required for you to drive a night shift as you can see right now i'm driving at night all right um some people want to say, I don't want to drive at night. I only want to drive at day. My friend told me he only drives at days. Blah, blah, blah. Your friend worked his, you know, worked his butt off to get to that point so he can drive during the day. You, you're just starting out. Get your ass in the seat and drive when you need to drive. 
you drive your 10, 11 hour shift, and at the end of that shift, you do break down, you go off duty or you go to sleep or birth, you take your 10 hour break, you get your behind back up and you start driving. That's what you need to do. So, you know, it's it's not come out here, I make my own schedules, I'm gonna tell the FM or DM or whatever your company calls it, I'm gonna tell them what it is and I'm gonna do what I wanna do. That's not how this works. Your company says you pick up this load at such and such time and you need to deliver it by such and such time. Now you need to make that shit happen. And so there are times where your companies will give you a huge window on it where you can spend a little bit extra time to sleep at birth or, you know, drag your feet a little bit. But 99.99999% of the time, you need to go drive your 10 to 11 hours, stop for the day, and then go to sleep for your 10 hour break. The second that 10 hour break is up, you need to be clicking yourself on duty you for a pre-trip. You do what you need to do for your pre-trip on the truck. Then after that, you take off down the road and you keep you keep that left door closed and that right foot down. And you keep it moving, all right? That's what you gotta do to be successful. Some people have an issue doing that because they think, oh, uh, they come to this job thinking all they're gonna do, I'm just gonna drive the truck all day. I'm gonna just hold the steering wheel. No, it's a lot more than that, as you can see what I'm saying. Sometimes you might be a little bit tired. Um, I'm not saying, I'm not advocating for drive tired, but, um, you, you know, if you're, if you're that tired, you, you know, pull over, lay down, and take a nap, but yeah, at the end of the day, you need to be getting up and not taking a nap or resting so long, your 14 hour time drops below your 11 hour driving time, because then you're losing out on time for those wheels to be turning, and you're essentially losing money that's going in your pocket, because that's less driving than you can do overall. You need to come out here, you need to drive. Um, you need to not complain about it, there's going to be some days where it's raining and it's raining so hard you see that the rain is coming in sideways. And you you're out, you got to be outside doing stuff on the truck, dropping trailers, two or three trailers a day. I mean, I've had to do that a few times where I'm just, they're trying to find a load for me to get for wherever I was in that state to somewhere else. But they had a bunch of customers in that state. So I was dropping and hooking like two or three times a day. You would have thought I was a local driver. They had me dropping and hooking. But I wasn't. I'm an OTR driver. But yeah, I had to drop it up multiple times. And now when I tell you it was raining, it was raining. I'm six foot five. And it was it was it was so deep with water out there, it was coming up past my ankles. And I mean you still gotta be out there, you still gotta do what you gotta do, your clothes are getting soaking wet. It's not very enjoyable conditions, but hell, it's part of the job. You gotta do what you gotta do for your family. And that's what keeps me going, is the fact that I get up, I know that the more my wheels turn, the more miles I'm making. I know that I'm able to provide for my my kid and my girl back home. That's what I, that's that's what keeps me going, and that should be motivation enough for anybody who comes across this video that you need to do what you gotta do simply because you have to take care of your family. You have to take care of somebody. You're not out here driving just because you feel like it. You no, know, you're taking care of some kind of business. Um, that requires you to come out here and drive and drive hard. So that's what you need to do. So yeah, you're gonna be going home, you're gonna miss things, it is what it is. But these are some kind of questions you need to be asking yourself before you come into truck driving. Is this truck driving for me? Um, you know, can I handle being gone for so long? Can I handle being away from my family? Can I handle missing major events that take place? Can I handle the, the side of this job that most people don't know about? Does everybody seem to think it's just driving? Can I handle the physical side about it? Especially if I'm gonna go be a flatbedder or a, you know, some kind of trailer that's not a drive-in or a refrigerated trailer or you know, something that requires more physical labor than the other ones. You, know, can, you need to ask yourself a series of these kind of questions. You need to look yourself in the mirror, look yourself in the eye, and say, you know, yo, can I do this? Like, is this for me? And you need to be straight up honest with yourself because you're going to come out here, if you're not on you're going to come out here and start driving, and you're going to be a few weeks, few months into this, and you're going to say, screw this crap, I'm done. You're going to pack your bags, abandon your truck, you're going to find a way to get home, and you're not going to want to come back then try to just kill your career from there because you can't just go around abandoning trucks and that goes on your record. But, um, yeah, so you need to be honest with yourself. I mean, it's just, it's just not just trucking in general. It's anything you do in life. Be honest with yourself. 
is this for me? Can I fully take on this task and be successful and do what I need to do? So th these are questions that you need to ask yourself, not just for trucking, like I said, but everything in life in general, and also mainly for trucking, because that's the purpose, that's the purpose of this video. So ask yourself, is trucking for me, all right? But I mean, if you can come out here and uh, understand that you're gonna miss certain things in life, there's more to this job than just driving, and that uh, you're gonna come out here in your first year, or two, your, your pay is not going to be the greatest in the world. If you can wrap your mind around those things, there's nothing holding you back. You're gonna come out here and I mean, you have to realize where you're starting at is where you're starting at. It's only the bottom, it only gets better from there. It only gets better. So I understand that you make it do these dark days of crappy $400, $500 paychecks, $600 paychecks, then yeah, you know, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna make it. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean. Also, I also understand that my paychecks. I just said, I sometimes I'm making in the five, six, sevens. Handful of times I've made it in the eight hundreds. That's at thirty three cents a mile. But if you saw my last video, you know why I can make those kind of paychecks because you, you're not really going to make those kind of paychecks. It takes a second to learn how to do that. Um, but some of these companies, like you go to Swift, I'm not exactly sure about their pay starting. You go to CR England, they start just for like twenty four cents a mile, I believe. I mean, you can drive a shit ton of miles and your pay is still not going to be good because you're only making 24 cents a mile. So, I mean, you just have to understand, you're just breaking into the business. You don't have options. You just got to, the few options you have, choose the one that fits you the best. But outside of that, you don't got no options. You got to go with one that will be willing to take you and train you and run from there. But, um... Yeah, this, that, so that's basically this title of this video. Is, uh, the, the message behind this video is just, it's trucking for you. You know, it's some stuff to think about. Really sit back and think about, can I handle being a truck driver? Is this for me? Is it for my family? Is it something that family can handle, you know? Um, I'll, I'll even talk about the kind of person you need to have in your relationship. Uh, for a partner when you when you in another video. I'm not even gonna talk about this one because I could add on extra 20 minutes. I'm not gonna do nobody wants to watch a 37 minute video on YouTube. So I'm gonna keep this one at about 20 or so minutes. Alright? So that that'll be the next video. Talk about the kind of partner you need. Alright. So ask yourself these questions. Be honest with yourself. Can I be a good truck driver? Is this job for me? I do what's needed to be done to be successful in this field. Is this good for me and my family? And if, you, if you're able to check off on these questions, then by all means, hop into it, find you a good company, and you know, work hard and let the let the big bucks start flowing through at some point. But um, until then, until you can honestly, honestly answer those questions and say, yeah, I, I, I can't handle this, or no, I can't. You need to continue doing whatever it is you do right now and, you know, uh, figure out what you're going to do. Because you might not know the answers or you might lie to yourself. You get out here, get behind the steering wheel, and you're gone away from your family. You call home and you talk to your family and you hear your kids laughing in the background. You hear your kids having a good time. You hear the family having a good time They're without you, not so that they don't want you to be there. But they understand that you're gone, but still the fact is that you're missing out on things back home. That, and you're also doing more out here than what you thought you were going to do. Uh, if once you get out here on the road and see those things, it's going to make you answer those questions real quick in your head. You know what? I thought this was for me. I didn't. I should have listened to that guy on YouTube who said, think about it before I come out here. Didn't really think about it. Now I'm out here. 2,000 miles away from home. I don't want to be out here. I want to just go home and be with my family. I find me a different job. This is for me. I want you to, I want to spare you that headache before you come out here and deal with that. So yes, there's a few things to think about. Alright? So, if you're, looking, if you're looking for another video in the next day or two, um, leech the whole YouTube thing. So, my video is being recorded from my phone. Sorry if the audio sucks, but you know, right now I'm just breaking into this, doing what I got to do. Hopefully as time goes on, I'll, I'll buy more stuff to have better quality videos and hear me a little bit better. 
but for right now, for, for a little while, y'all gonna be getting videos off my phone. It, it is what it is. Alright, have a good day.